Rajiz ameamua eh aingize ngoma ni kidance tu niendelee shema ali nilitokea. Acha hostel uh, please pumzika kiasi we need the energy to ikuje na jua alafu rudishe tena. You are watching hashtag #social friday my name is Masai KTA and Call me Rajiz, R to the A to the J to the Y to the Z. Yani, unatoka kunipandisha sai, kalafu nakuja call me Rajiz to the... Loki. Energy ni kwa mziki. Music ni kwa haiki. Yeah. And uh, it's about that time, we go into a social break. Tako. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Amesa hau kengele leo. Punishment. Eh, unanua fish hapo inje kwa hoteli, sindio? Kuna le kuku fish as punishment oh okay oh, amesema onea uh, si uh, <laughs> so ni gani unmesha sema okay uh, jeffries umesikia ilikuwa joke eh? ilikuwa tena mdomo alafu ni una joke january unatoa happy okay. energy okay, sawa <laughs> uh, and today ama this segment we are not alone we have a guest um uh, appearance from the one and only i'm sure you have been seeing her videos on tiktok on, on instagram she's funny she's amazing she's gorgeous is adjectives in akuja and is end of gosh thank you <laughs> thank you for having me i'm please, so glad to be here please tell them who you are Hi, my name is Barbara Nyambura and I am a TikToker, content creator, influencer, actress, comedian, just no kwageli amani. I'm just trying, trying okay. things. We are an ashindanga for your space. You say me too even. Pretty much yes. Your own, your, when you are on uh, media production. Pretty much production, business, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm it. I'm it. Yes. How long does it take you to prepare your hair? Oh, don't you even get me started. <laughs> uh, well, it takes me like 20 minutes. That's why I'm not going to do it on TikTok. Combing out my hair is just a lot, a, a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, Team Natural, what is that? The dreadlocks. Neza join you. How long have you had them for? Uh, <laughs> um, I think since high school. High school? Only when I read in high school. Uh, you were the rebellious uh, type. Nikimaliza shule, yeah. Mushu Mushu, yeah. Nikwan Manza Kulea and Wele. Oh. Uh, that's, actually, that was the last time Nilingia Kinyozi. How did your parents feel about it? Um, well, <laughs> when I was starting, I used to rap in school. I uh, used to be artist, artist, kiyas, yeah. in music. Yeah. So they were like, I wouldn't even say it too, so that maybe I'm a funny evil. Yeah. I was a sura. <laughs> let, let him have it. <laughs> that's cool, uh -huh. that's cool. So how do you balance uh, being in primary school and creating TikTok videos? Being in what? <laughs> Is that what you, is that why you think I am? Oh my God. I can not a degree certificate. I kid you not. Wait. Uh, yeah. University, yes. Which university did you go to? I, I studied at Strathmore. What did you study? Bachelor of Commerce with a major in marketing. Okay. <laughs> You're on TikTok, yeah. I think marketing area, mm -hmm. uh, that one you've proved, uh, you may apply in real life. Uh, Absolutely. Oh, let me tell you, when, when I see myself like thinking about my audience and, you know, targeting and studying my, inf my audience <laughs> behavior, I just look back to when like lecturers would talk about these things and at the time you're just like, where am I going to apply this? Like this is just... But then when you get into real life and you're applying it, you're just like, oh. So you look what we apply. Wow. And it's just I'm lucky to be in a space where I'm able to um, apply what I actually studied in school and actually like have it help me like being in it is like you, you know it's one thing to be to have it theoretically, but now when you're actually living it, it's like ah oh, now it really sinks in and really like then get back in. Yeah. <laughs> no. I could not wait to drop it. It was compulsory in my school, yes. Biology, yeah, that is. Yeah, biology. Uh, okay, nini ulisawa biology may apply in real life says? Mitochondria umetumia. Photosynthesis is the process. 
grammar. I mean, <laughs> wow, well, depends. Sentence with a description, photosynthesis is the, you are a grammar. Oh, that I was. But when I was in biology and production, that one really, really applied it. Ah, you were in school, Olivia, Nani? Funny thing, I always have, I have a lot of my stuff from school. Because um, I have a younger sister and you know, you know, when you have a younger sibling, they get the hand-me-downs. So I kept a lot of so my stuff from school. What you're saying is that the, the, the school uniform that you use on your TikTok videos, yeah. you don't know, work your high school? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> so, in short, when you want to work TikTok videos, you don't know, work your high school? Pretty much. <laughs> I can clearly say if I wear my high school um, trouser, yeah. it will fit up. Uh, it fits, but it's just the, the, the length that is, you know, different. But the width is, is pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. <laughs> um, wait, is it Barbara mm -hmm. or uh, Bear? Wait, ba ba be <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> You know what, let me tell you, I have struggled with this name my entire life. At this point, it's just Vila Utai Samatu. Vila Unayona Uskev Kwe Samatu. Samatu. Kikushinda ni itatu nyambra. Kanyambu ni itatu nyambu. Nyambra is easy. Nyo, okay. Me have heard people, actually I'm saying people on the posters of Ati Ba, 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 Ba. Ati Ba, Ba, Ba. Absolutely. Actually, when I was younger, like when I was like six, seven, that's how I used to write it. Like, how do you expect a six-year-old to write Barbara? Like, I, if I show you my, like, my papers from like way back, as well as a coloring and whatnot, Barbara, bar, bar, I didn't know how to write it. So I understand people who struggle with my name. It's not written as it's said. Uh, I don't know why, but if you don't know the night was so. I'm very surprised that yeah. uh, that name didn't stick. Well, I, I was not always very allowing <laughs> of the habit of calling me. Well, yeah. I have one mind that stuck. Uh, when I was young, I didn't like people calling me Kta. Because it sounded like they are clicking. <laughs> <laughs> but then when I grew older, it did not a coup and then I accepted it. But is like Kitty an acronym or that's like the actual name? No, the actual name is K I T W L. But spell as Kita. Kita. Why did you shorten it to, to three letters? It's easier to tell someone just say K T. Yeah. Kita. And Masai is your actual name? Masai is my actual name. Utanyanyasha ID to Kimeliza. Skubeba ID. Huduma number, anything. Boska kwaji. Ni boska mani simba. Ako sawa. Actually, ni kapupi, but ako sawa. Ako sawa. So, Gina, Gina uliamua ni gani? Gina mwono mwumita Gina. Okay, for, for those who are wondering, we are talking about a dog, not a human being. Let's make that clear first. Yes, our dog. So, yeah. Nisimba ma ni Bosco? Uh, ah, neither. Ni kapupi, ni neither. Uya na kwanga tu kapupi. Wano wala kwa ita kss kss. Pops, pops. Kia sasa. Okay, now let's talk about the content that you create. Uh, your type of content is quite unique. Uh, last week, I was fortunate enough to host um, uh, the guy who goes around dancing, uh, Moya David. Goes around um, dancing and ashtua mtu. Oh, I love one. Oh, I love yeah. his videos, yeah. Niliona karibu wa chapo juzi na skari flani. His content is risky, but we enjoy it. Uh, have you guys met? Not yet, not yet. Oh, you'd like to meet? Absolutely. Okay, uh, David, kau na watch uh, at Ubaya lunch. Panga lunch to Kutani. So <laughs> the point was, <laughs> yeah. uh, he told me that the kind of, uh, he's a dancer mm -hmm. uh, by profession, mm -hmm. but he also does pranks. So his content is dance, prank. Wow. How would you define your content? Comedy. Just, yes, it's just comedic comedy. skits. Yeah. Just ah, playing comedy. Skits. Yeah. I hadn't thought of it as a skit. <laughs> At first, we were on a real in TikTok <laughs> without actually knowing that this person uh, actually does comedy. Yeah. Um, uh, before you do your content, mm -hmm. you have research Kwanza? Sometimes, if it's something that does need research, like I remember when I was doing a lot of the. Uh, um, masks and you know just public awareness about covid i definitely had to research about that i didn't want to give information that you know is not it but a lot of my other stuff is basically what i go through or i know people have gone through like growing up kenyan moms those kind of situations um i just pick it from my own experience and my own life i reflect back and i'm like eh, let me see how i can put that in a video so a lot of it is pretty much my own life experience and 
other people's um, life experiences. I love it the way you can mix the two. Um, when it's something of a, on a serious topic, you do mm -hmm. research, yeah. but then the final product is something that is very consumable. Absolutely. Is, I, is, Exactly. Let me tell you, you have to know your audience because you, my audience is pretty much is very young, like between 18 and what, say 24 mm. or to like say 30. And, you know, traits of that audience is that they have a very short attention span. You know, they're not going to watch a whole minute of you giving them a lecture. It has to be quick. It has to be to the point. It has to be, you know, you have to deliver and it has to be enlightening. They don't like serious topics. It has to be entertaining. So you have to mix music, comedy, dance, whatever way you're going to present it to them in a way that they're going to be like, ah, I relate. Oh, so that's the message. Oh, so I should wear my mask. So you have to make it very, speak the language of the youngings. You have to make it very, um, <laughs> that French word has gone, but I hate it. They say, <laughs> you, yes. But actually, speaking of making it creative, na kuipamba vizuri, funny thing, I, uh, when we were talking, uh, we created the poster first, and then I told you to send a video. Yeah. And then you did a video on TikTok. Lafu kajia kama hali apu jui kimalizia. My intention was in each a video, I put it behind a poster, but you did it yourself. <laughs> um, explore filters in gap is a TikTok and Instagram. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Because I, I don't have like a, a, a suit, an editing suit like Adobe or anything. I, purely shoot and edit on TikTok. So it's really like, it's really, I use a lot of the effects, a lot of the fi filters, the green screen, the baby effect, like just depending on what, the I what idea I'm trying to put across, I will definitely like look up and see what best, you know, to use depending on the situation. But yeah, I, I do use a lot of the t TikTok filters. Mm -hmm. favorite? Favorite filter? Mm -hmm. I have a couple. I have a couple. I, I like to favorite the ones that I use the most: the green screen, um, the baby effect, the, the the I use the dancing one sometimes as well. Yes, oh. <laughs> it would be really cool to have like, and I hope like that's 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 where I'm headed. Like to have an actual green screen set and explore. Um, editing in that line like you see how they do hollywood movies maybe see if i can experiment and see how that goes maybe for the future for the future but for now just she's yeah tech tech green screen actress <laughs> yeah. she's uh, she's uh she's actually an actor by the way right yes ah and um can you please tell them uh, your social media handle so that they can go at least and stalk you as you continue <laughs> with the discussion you can find me at barbara nyambura everywhere babra nyambura babra dot nyambura on tiktok babra underscore nyambura on instagram babi underscore nyambura on twitter snapchat babi underscore nyambura just search babra nyambura everywhere you'll, fi you'll find me babra nyambura on youtube as well no, i was i was searching already oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't okay. stalk me just yet uh, gosh. So you, have, uh, you have interacted i've seen you have interacted with the big when is celeb so that's what I'm putting in. Come <laughs> how, you can have how, 100 and how many K followers? On? TikTok. Uh, 116.9. That is on Kurangapi. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, uh, how, many, how many big sellers have you interacted with? Uh, I had the pleasure of interacting with BN for the Mbwembwe campaign, BN and Aaron, um, mm -hmm. TikTok reached out, they were like, we like what you do, um, come because we're looking for, you know how things on TikTok usually have a phase, like when a song comes out, there's going to be a dance phase to it, and then makeup, then comedy, so they were looking of ways to basically do different things on a sound that is more than just lip syncing and dancing, F bring in fashion creators, can it have a comedy kind of thing to it, can we do food, you know, just different type of types of content on the sound. So they reached out and they were like, you know, come through, we're going to have BN there and you know I, the whole time i just couldn't believe what was happening i was like is this um i think my <laughs> director has a clip uh if we can play that clip and see it and a couple of your other videos too at least no money at so uh, babra dot nyambura dot nyambura that's on, on tiktok, TikTok yes uh, have you seen me dancing on tiktok i haven't hey, hey. i haven't hey. 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 i had it I, no, I have to look. I have to go look. Uh, so, that I, I do avoid dancing. Uh, 
and actually TikTok is what has made me uh, be dancing on the actually on the set. No way. Yes, because of TikTok, that's why I dance on set. But uh, I'm just used to making reels. Ha. Uh, uh -huh. Transitions. And I will see an opportunity to step to me. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I, I don't know if my director uh, has it ready. Let's watch the clips. <laughs> 